Hello everyone, so today I'm actually going to do a side walkabout for this new project called New at Novena. Uh, this project has been launched for some time. Uh, obviously, it's located in Novena and uh, this project is actually a freehold project in District 11. Novena is in the prime district of 11. So whenever we always talk about the central, we will talk about uh, 9, 10, 11. Okay? And uh, what is right in front ahead of me is actually where this uh, Momin Road is. Momin Road is the main... Okay, Novena is a very centralized uh, area with very good traffic connect connectivity regardless whether you are going to take the public transport or you're going to drive because uh, Novena is actually right smack in between two major roads namely Balestier Road and uh, Momin Road Momin Road is the one that will actually lead you towards city whereby you will go towards uh, Kalang, Gelang and uh, Lavender and Balestier Road of course you can actually go up towards uh, Thompson, Bishan and actually Amokyo and of course from Balestier you can actually cut through back into, towards back to the city towards uh, Newton Circus and there you will be at Orchard okay uh, what's special about this project is uh, this is freehold and this is in the prime district 11 and of course being a freehold and in such a prime area uh, one can expect that this will be a good investment uh, place a lot of people will actually be getting this uh, development for their own investment why do I say that because later I'll show you around this area and you understand why in terms of amenities walking distance to the MRT and connectivity uh, all these factors these are actually very uh, uh, fantastic so I will actually bring you guys to walk around this area okay this place uh, actually has two very popular condo launch uh, in the past uh, namely their Sole which is just right across the road uh, Sinaran Drive and also there's another one Viva okay, these two projects are actually very very popular uh, when it was launched in the past um, namely because of the facilities and back then uh, Novena I wouldn't say it's underdeveloped but uh, back then Novena uh, was a very popular choice for spillover from District 9 uh, why so? because some people just like to be on the edge of the city. They do not like to be right smack in the city like your District 9 Orchard area. They find it uh, a bit too crowded. There's too many people walking around. So uh, some people really do like staying just right uh, at the edge of the city core city centre region. And uh, right now I'm actually going to bring you guys towards uh, Novena MRT station so from the actual site you which is where the show flat is also you just have to walk uh, down towards Sinaran Drive you can actually reach uh, Novena MRT station okay so for information Novena for those of you who are new to this area or, or uh, you are from overseas Novena is actually just two uh, MRT stops away from Orchard and uh, right next to Novena okay what people actually use as a landmark for Novena they always talk about Tan Tock Seng Hospital Tan Tock Seng Hospital okay in the past uh, the older generation do not like places that are right smack near to uh, hospitals because they say uh, it's for superstitious and feng shui reason but nowadays the, the youngsters and the new generation they are less inclined to think like that so they are fine with this place being near to hospital why do I say that? it's simply because uh, they, there is a uh, potential for tenant pool if you are near in the hospital namely because uh, it could be either for medical workers, doctors, nurses or, or even for people who actually come all the way from neighboring country to seek treatment because you have to know that regardless Singapore is uh, regarded as one of the top destination for medical treatment a lot of uh, foreign delegates and a lot of 
foreigners actually come to Singapore to seek treatment because of our uh, our advanced medical technology. So you can't negate the fact that there are people who will, who might be here to seek long term treatment. So they they might need maybe one or two years to be here on the long term stay. And these people are really the the richer or the affluent people from the neighboring countries like mainly Thailand. Indonesia. So actually, I'm standing right in front of the uh, Tan Tock Seng Hospital right now. Okay, if for those of you who are new to this area, once again, uh, Novena has been gazetted as the health city. What do they call it? Health city because there is uh, this place is going to be a very dedicated area where we have all the medical facilities all here. There's a specialty center. There's Novena Medical Center. There's also aesthetic, dental care, and a lot of different places. Okay, uh, so there are also a lot of shopping area uh, in this in this area, shopping centers in this area as well. Square Two, Velocity, United Square. To be very frank, I myself as a Singaporean, I actually quite confused with uh, some of the names of the shopping mall here because they are all in such close proximity. And the key thing here is that if you if it's raining or if it's too hot, you can actually just the moment you come right out of uh, Novena MRT station, MRT station, you can actually just walk underground through to all the different shopping malls. Uh, you can get yourself across anywhere and everywhere. And also, not forgetting, there's also uh, Mount Elizabeth Hospital here as well. So. This place is actually a very very hot spot for a lot of medical uh, workers who are here. Uh, maybe they are posted here on a, on a contract basis, so they need they need a place to stay. Uh, and being such a close proximity to the city, uh, this place is actually very fantastic for tenants to actually get around with public transport and without the need to drive. And of course, if you do drive. Uh, Orchard is just not far away, obviously, and also you can get yourself towards uh, Gardens by the Bay uh, Sports Hub very, very easily by taking the Moment Road down straight down towards uh, Raffles Boulevard that side. Uh, so it's really very convenient. Mm, on top of that, there's also some pockets of uh, hotels here. Of course, uh, the hotels are not going to bring in a tenant pool for you, but I'm just saying that the the fact that this place is uh, very vibrant and always bustling with people around. And from the side, actually now I'm I'm just less than two minutes away walk to Tan Tock Seng Hospital. And the moment you reach here, you reach this uh, covered walkway, you can actually go down towards uh, Novena MRT station. So the 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 only slight drawback that I can think of is from the actual side to this. Uh, road if you just go straight uh, there's this part where it is like maybe just 20 to 50 meters of unsheltered walkway uh, so well this is something that you might have to take note and I'll actually be crossing the road I'll actually be going across the road I will not go underneath the, the, the underpass but I will just show you guys where is it okay uh, so, so just follow me Okay. and you can see in my background that actually I'm right at this uh, Novena MRT uh, Novena MRT station and in my background this is where the underpass is going to go to the MRT station and you can get connected to all the mall uh, but I will not take that way I will just uh, cross the road as per normal using the pedestrian crossing okay uh, okay then the name the, the three malls if uh, if I'm correct is Velocity, Novena Square, United Square and Square 2. There's actually four and not just three. So for the fact that um, the amenities if you need to do any grocery shopping is more than convenient. There's, uh, there's cold storage here. And then uh, used to be cold storage, but I think cold storage has uh, is, is gone now. And I think there's still Don Don Donkey. Don Don Donkey is the famous Japanese 
place where you can do your Japanese grocery shopping and of course there's another new mall that is just right down the, the, the road here uh, Irrawaddy Road where they have uh, this very famous bagel place called uh, Two Men's Bagel if I'm, if I'm correct you can always see that they have a long queue day in day out and right now I am actually here at square 2 already so if you time from the from the actual time if I did not delay and stop midway from the actual site to walk to this square 2 itself it's actually less than 5 minutes away walk and also I do believe that there's a Daiso here as well so Daiso is where you can actually get all your cheap $2 day-to-day -day stuff mm. okay so if you cut straight down to from Sinaran Drive you will hit the junction and the junction is whereby this Irrawaddy road is gonna be and for your information I think the Ministry of Home Affairs is just uh, right ahead okay of course all the this most of these places in fact Tanto Singh Hospital has shuttle bus which you can actually make use of to get from point to point but of course if you drive then it will not be an issue okay and so in my background you can see is if you go straight down down towards this uh, Irrawaddy road direction is where the new mall where I told you where Marriott uh, Marriott Courtyard is so there's a restaurant called Two Men's Bagel there uh, it's a cafe they're only open in the morning so if you, are do, if you do happen to be in the area you can check it out and of course most importantly what I like to highlight to you is that the fact that this place has a lot of eateries and there's a lot of restaurants so in the event if you are too lazy or you're having a party and you would like to get delivery to come over there's no lack of choices and there's plenty of it okay uh, I will not go down into the MRT station proper for security reasons what but what you need to know basically is that right now I'm just walking right on top of Novena MRT stations all you have to do is just to get uh, into the underpass and then you'll be there okay so I will actually bring you guys to the main road where the bus stop is okay so I will see you guys in a bit hello so I am actually at the along Moment Road the main road so you can see in my background where the cars are traveling towards on my side is actually going towards uh, Kalang Lavender that side that I said earlier so you will actually pass by uh, Serangoon Road before you will actually reach uh, Lavender so you can actually see from the map in our description below you can check out the our web page and you can check out the location map Novena is really a very very centralized location but for the nearest bus stop unfortunately there isn't much buses uh, there's only one bus that goes direct all the way to Pasiris and it will pass by Tanjung Katong and another bus will actually bring you to Wampo so earlier something that I did not mention is actually Wampo uh, Novena is also very near to two very old wet markets so for people who are actually thinking of staying together with your parents, getting a three bedroom, a bigger unit here, staying with parents, uh, don't have to worry that your parents will not be able to get their fresh produce because most of them are actually used to getting their stuff from the wet market itself. So you can actually get them to go to Pekyo wet market or you can get to Wampo wet market which are very very near driving distance. Even if you take a grab, it wouldn't cost you much is really very near and so right now I'm going to walk from this bus stop to New at Novena the reason why this place does not have much buses my guess is because at the end of the day it's really well connected to the MRT uh, by Novena and if you really want to have more buses later I'll actually bring you to the so-called the main bus stop which is just right outside Velocity so the moment you come out from Novena MRT station will be this mall called uh, Velocity depends on which side you come out from 
So Velocity has this main bus stop where there's a lot of buses that cut through there. And what happened there is that basically Novena Church is right next at the corner as well. Mm, something that I observe because I do live nearby. So something that I do observe for some people here is that uh, the traffic here on weekend mornings are uh, can be really haywire. Why? Because there are a lot of tuition agencies here. There are a lot of uh, enrichment classes for children, for kids. So a lot of parents actually do send their their, their children uh, here every weekend morning for enrichment classes and 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 piano, ballet, whatnot. So most of the people will will come from other places they do not stay nearby so they actually have to drive here and the, the road the road that it leads to behind United Square Go Hill Plaza is, is where the congestion always happens I can't remember what's the road name is uh, it's a Chinese road name something with a Guan I, I can't really remember you can just check out on street directory or Google map okay uh, so one other advantage that I can immediately tell you guys is that for living somewhere at such close proximity, getting your children to to be in the center of all these enrichment classes uh, will not be a problem. It's so near walking distance, they can even walk themselves there or you can get your helper to actually walk them there. Uh, so before I go further, i like to point out to you, I'm actually back at where I had started earlier. So you can see in the background, this is new at Novena. Okay. Uh, so I will actually bring you guys in terms of how convenient it is to get to velocity. There's actually a variety of ways to get to velocity. So one is that you go back towards Tan Tok Seng Hospital where I just now uh, I, where I was and goes through the underground and then come up from velocity and you get to the, the, the bus stop. Another way is, uh, which is perhaps the actually the shorter way in fact, is to walk along against the traffic flow along this uh, moment road and then you can just make to uh, make cross over the cross junction and then you can actually reach where velocity is. That is actually so-called the more direct way which I am going to show you guys mm. so come let's just follow me uh, so something that I have to let you know is that at the end of the day right because this is a freehold property a lot of people would like to leave a legacy behind for their for their for their future generation and freehold being freehold this is of course not a, not an issue and again just now i highlighted why novena is 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 uh, has such a huge concentration of uh, enrichment classes is because of the clusters of schools as well yes only St. Joseph's uh, Junior is actually nearby here which is in fact within one kilometer. Mm, having said that, I have to alert you that you know even though even though that projects are uh, within one kilometer of certain schools, it doesn't nowadays it doesn't guarantee you your your, your kids to have a, uh, a place itself but being near within a kilometer is always an added advantage. Of course, if you have other things like maybe uh, you have your, your, your spouse works there or, or, or maybe you are alumni, will increase your chances. But what I'm saying is for those people who... It, it can work both ways. For people who want to get this for investment, okay, they will actually use this as a so-called... Uh, what I like to call it the the the, the fail safe mechanism to rent it out for people who wants to get their children into uh, St Joseph Junior, and for people who wants to leave it as a legacy for their future generation, this is freehold. They can do it as well. Okay, uh, so there's really no reason why I would think that you do not want to stay in Novena area, and of course why there are so many concentration of the 
tuition centers and, 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 and the enrichment classes here is simply because of the um, proximity of a lot of this, all these different uh, top schools that are all nearby. Further down towards Thompson Road is actually where RI is and then of course there's CHIJ Topayo nearby as well uh, although they're not all, not all within one kilometer radius but what I'm saying is in the future when your kids pass out from the PSLE they, they manage to do not too bad they can actually get into uh, the, the schools the better schools nearby and they're all focused and concentrated in this area as well uh, not forgetting if you are if you are Catholic Catholic Junior College is nearby as well so all these are really added advantage there's really a lot of things that there are of things that's going on here you got like two couple of Starbucks here and then you have the the estate at this uh, Thompson Regency when there's a lot of eateries so having a food option is definitely not an issue if you want you can even drive further up to Newton Circus uh, hey so they I, I do hear from people to say that there are a lot of concern about small projects because this is a really small and exclu exclusive project for new and novena it's not like those uh, two three hundred number of units uh, project so for small units people are worried that you know all oh, my prices are being controlled by my neighbors and, and, and my, my upstairs downstairs left right center neighbors but at the end of the day you have to you have to you have to ask yourself are you comparing you're not only comparing within your own estate itself you have to make a fair comparison you have to do it with the surrounding projects as well so this is not a, a, a one, one size fit all solution now. but at the end of the day you know you are in core city center region and you are freehold so what is there to lose right okay so you can see guys in my background this green color building is actually velocity i've actually reached velocity yes uh it may seem like a very long walk but i assure you it's definitely i don't know five minutes plus minus from the actual site itself and again once again if you do not want to walk under the sun you like to have some shelter you can always choose the option of going through down uh, the underpass from Tantok Singh Hospital and actually get to here as well. Yes, that would be a longer route but at the end of the day, it's sheltered so yeah, why not? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk towards the, the bus stop. It's just right straight ahead in front of me. Uh, this is the major bus stop where most of the buses are actually going towards uh, town. Okay, and Frankly speaking, I did not drive here to do this video as well because this is so convenient so I just took a train down from Orchard MRT, it's just two stops away and uh, not forgetting that the Inland Revenue House is here as well, IRAS is here as well so uh, people who want to buy into this area do so for a wide variety of reasons uh, and in fact what I can tell you is where I'm walking the direction towards the bus stop is where Novena Church is and beyond Novena Church is actually I'm going towards uh, St. Joseph Junior and by virtue of the distance they are within one kilometer away and yep okay uh, the last stop that I'm going to make is going to be at this bus stop there's also of course a taxi stand as well so in the background here you can actually see uh, the bus stop a lot of the buses actually goes towards uh, Bugis they go towards the city so you do not have to worry about you know if you don't drive how am I going to get around On th at the end of the day ultimately with uh, MRT just right at your doorstep you can actually get to a lot of places you know using just the MRT alone of course I did not go through this is uh, Thompson Road I did not go through where Balestier Road on the other side of where New and Novena is okay Balestier Road is also one that actually serves uh, there's a lot of buses that go through there and to get to Wampo wet market that I mentioned earlier you actually have to go via uh, Balestier Road okay I will not be going through that but what I can tell you here is I see bus 56, 57, 851 851 if I'm not wrong actually goes to Bukit Merah, Tiong Bahru that direction 
166. So there are a lot of buses that actually go towards uh, Bugis and, and in that direction, the North Bridge Road in that direction. So you do not have to worry about public transport. Okay? Uh, so, okay, that's it for me for now for this new and novena site walkabout. Once again, if you do like this video, do subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. And if you do have any comments uh, or questions, you can contact us. And if you need the brochure and the floor plan, you can actually click on the link below. And I will actually see you guys in my next site walkabout video. Okay, see you guys. Bye bye.